Hi friends, it's Callie. Thanks so much for visiting with me today. I'm creating an interactive card using the Lawn Fawn Center Picture Window Die. The stamp set that I'm using is called A Little Sparkle, and it comes with this unicorn and two tiny little fairies and a few other images that I've stamped all out here, and I'm going to start by coloring with Copic markers. I'll provide a full list of the Copic marker colors and combinations on my blog if you'd like to know what they are, since I won't be sharing the entire process here. I'm using a light gray in warm tones for the unicorn body and giving the unicorn hair some pink, teal, and purple. I use these same colors throughout on the fairies to keep the color scheme the same. I didn't use the star images, so I skipped coloring those. I've got the two main dies for my center picture window now, and I have to cut out the window for the interior of the card. Before I die cut the card part itself, I'm going to ink blend it first so that I don't have to ink blend later over indentations from my cutting plates. Since I'm using a unicorn and fairies, I want to make the background a sky color, and I'm using tumbled glass distress oxide to ink blend my panels with. When I'm done ink blending, I die cut my card, and it creates a score line down the middle for you, which is super helpful. I also use the oval die to cut out my window. Then I use my Teflon bone folder to fold and burnish all of my score lines. The window is going to pop out at you in the end, so you want to create a mountain fold with that. I just didn't want to burnish over um, an ink blended area, so I went ahead and did the back side of that first. To give my background some texture, I spray some water on my panels and blot off the excess water with a paper towel. I think this gives the added illusion that there are soft clouds in the background in the sky. And then speaking of clouds, I decided at this point that I wanted to add cloud edges to my card. The shadow box card add-ons will work with the center picture window card die, making it easy to create more scenes and to stretch out the use of these dies. I'm using the rainbow add-ons to use the cloud edges and cut them out in white and vellum cardstock. I realized that before I continue with any of the inside pieces, I needed to work on my outside panel as well. So I ink blended it to match the interior of the card. Then I added my clouds vellum layer first, then the white, and then trimmed off the overhang. Then I decided it would be fun to add a rainbow to my card. The shadow box card rainbow add-on that I used earlier for my clouds also comes with two sizes of rainbows. I die cut them both with the intention to use one for the outside and one for the inside. After die cutting my rainbow pieces, I use the same markers that I used before on my images to color my rainbow. To secure them in place, I butted up my pieces after coloring and secured them together using scotch tape. I tucked my small rainbow between the two cloud layers and added some adhesive under it to secure it in place. I set an acrylic block over it just to keep it down while I work on the bigger rainbow for the center frame. I'm doing the same with the larger rainbow now. I'm just butting up all of the pieces and securing it with some scotch tape and then trimming off anything that hangs off the sides. For this bigger rainbow, I'm gluing it to the underside of the center window. It's a little wider, so I trim off just a tiny bit before gluing it down. I also have to score it down the center so that it folds with the window. To do this, I'm going to use my mini scoreboard and I'm lining up the top and bottom score lines so that I know exactly where to score on the rainbow itself. I burnish that line and then add my vellum and white cloud layers and score that. And before I adhere the window to the card, I also have to add the cloud edges to both sides of my card. So I use my window to help me position where the cloud should go. The vellum layer is about a quarter inch from the bottom to make it more visible for my white layer. I add strong double-sided adhesive to my flaps on my center window and then remove only the right side of the backing first. And with that side tucked down, I'm going to line up my score lines with the center of score line on the card and press it in place. Once it's lined up, I push the whole thing to the side and then remove the backing on the other flap and then close the other half of the card over it. This really ensures that your card closes nicely. My clouds there are hanging off the center window a tad on the right side, but I trim it off and it's fine. I've gone ahead and stamped my sentiment off camera. The sentiment reads, hope your day sparkles, so I felt like this card needed some sparkle. To do that, I'm using a clear adhesive like Glossy Accents, and I'm just lining the cloud edges and then adding chunky glitter to it to add some sparkles. Now that I've finished on the outside of my card, I'm going to work on the inside. I'm adding little clouds that came with a center picture window die set. And then I decided I wanted to map my card on another card base. It does give the card a bit more bulk, 
but it also makes the card a little bit bigger and hides any indentations from the die cutting machine on the back of each panel. My card base starts off at three inches by eight and a half inches, and then I just score it down the center at four and a quarter inches. Like the window portion, I'm adhering only one side of the card base initially. I place my center picture window card inside my card base to secure the right side of the card first. Then I added adhesive to the other side and then close the entire card over it. Now we can cut off the excess of the sides. I placed my card in my trimmer and found that cutting it where the center score line is at the three and a half inch mark makes a perfect mat for the inner card. Then I'm going to adhere my front panel to the card base. Since I'm not 100% sure that the glitter is dry, I apply adhesive directly to my card base and then carefully place my front panel to the outside of the card. Last but not least, I add my four quick colored images to the inside of the card, making the unicorn front and center. I didn't want to fold my unicorn image, so I let it overhang just a little bit without showing when the card is closed. I added more chunky glitter to the clouds on the inside of my card off camera, and that finishes off my card for today. I hope you enjoyed this card, and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're interested in watching my latest videos, you can click below. Have a wonderful day! Bye.